And that's game, baby. Let's go. Cross Fusion Strike Techno Blast. You're out of here. Mew VMAX. Broken deck. After playing with Mew VMAX for weeks, I can confidently say that Mew VMAX is one of, if not the best deck in the Pokemon trading card game right now. There are just so many different great ways to build a powerful Mew VMAX deck. But after all this testing, I feel like I have finally arrived on a list that I feel like is the best way to play Mew VMAX. I'm stoked to show off my list, but before we get to it, let's head on over to FullGripGames.com. We have got a massive Black Friday sale happening right now at FullGripGames.com with some incredible deals that you can only get for this limited time. We've got $25 Battle Styles Elite Trainer Boxes, $40 Celebrations Elite Trainer Boxes, $85 Battle Styles Booster Boxes, and $90 Chilling Rain Booster Boxes, as well as much, much more. Supporting the shop at Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. So thank you so much for doing your holiday shopping at Full Grip Games. If there's something that you're looking for on sale and it's not in stock, make sure to check back every day because we restock new items at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, let's check out that Mew VMAX deck. Mew VMAX is one of the most powerful and low-maintenance attackers in the Pokemon TCG right now. With its Cross Fusion Strike attack for two colorless energy, you get to choose one of your bench Fusion Strike Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. So primarily, we're going to be copying Genesect V's Techno Blast, which does 210 damage. Genesect V also happens to be one of the best draw support Pokemon in the game right now. With its Fusion Strike system ability, which reads once during your turn you may draw cards until you have as many cards in your hand as you have fusion strike pokemon in play so if you have six fusion strike pokemon in play you get to fill your hand to six cards and you can use that ability once per turn for each genesect v that you have in play now in this version of the list we're playing four copies of marnie which i think pairs really well with both genesect v and mu v max because it sets your opponent to just a four card hand marnie is one of the most disruptive supporters in the game one of the weak things about marnie is that it only draws you five cards but that's not a weakness in this deck because you have fusion strike system to just churn through the rest of your deck so i really like the marnie version of this deck because it allows you to conserve resources you don't need to burn your power tablets or your boss's orders or your fusion strike energy unless it's time to actually use those cards so you get to put the resources on the bottom of your deck and draw naturally with Marnie. Sometimes you're going to want Peony to just discard the hand, go find the two power tablets that you need for a game. So we do play one copy of Peony, but I have really been enjoying the Marnie version of this deck. And since we're not playing for Peony, we are opting to run Pokemon Catchers instead, which are insane. Don't knock it until you try it. Four copies of Pokemon Catcher is probably going to get you more gust per game than four copies of Cross Switcher. It also allows you to pull off crazy plays where you use Elisa's Sparkle or Peony in a turn and then also gust you can also set your opponent to four cards and gust in the same turn which is incredible and then finally i do love rotom phone in this deck it's an item card that allows you to look at the top five cards of your deck choose one of them put it on top of your deck and you shuffle the other cards right and by stacking your deck you can then draw into whatever card you stacked with fusion strike system i also really like rotom phone when paired with marnie because you can rotom phone find the card that you want to draw into and then draw into that card right away with marnie this deck is a lot of fun to play and to watch so check it out in action and let me know what do you think of mu v max featuring marnie in the comments below huh eternatus could be tough but we could also win. They're just going for the Ascension play, or they're going for the Galarian Weezing play, or whatever. You know, that's that's fine. I mean, I don't, you know, I got I got no qualms with that. That's okay. So just attach the fusion energy. Bench this. 
and pass. I mean, because I've got everything that I want this next turn, right? They're going to go evolve their guy. There's no need to energy mix because you can... Oh, I didn't realize you could energy mix to yourself. That's pretty cool. I thought you had to energy mix to the bench. But yeah, being able to energy mix to yourself, maybe I should energy mix there, but... I put the fusion energy on so they couldn't ping me, but I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Because, I mean, they're going to be able to do infinite damage to my Mew anyways. What we want is them not to get any Eternatus VMAX and for me to... Okay, well, there's the Eternatus VMAX, huh? Okay, so what I want now is to... Okay, he's got a big charm. He's a big fella over there, all right? He's a, he's kind of a... He's a big fella. It's tough. Hey, it's it. It's a big Eternatus. That's going to be a tough matchup for us, okay, chat? <laughs> this is going to be... This is going to be a rough one, if I did say so. This matchup does not seem good. I only get to draw, like, a card right now. Bring up this guy. Come on. Okay. Quick ball. Wait, this guy, get another Jenny. Come on, Jenny. Come on, Jenny. Come on, find that fan, Jenny. Oh, we can't find the fan thing. All right, now we're definitely going to lose. Um, I'll grab the quick ball off the top. Oh, no, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. we just do... Uh, Dyna Barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Never mind. I forgot we got Dyna Barrier. We're chilling, bro. Huge chilling. This thing's a VMAX. I hardly ever get to use the Latias, but you know what? That's fine. Yeah, now what you gonna do? Nothing, bro. Nothing. Like a boss? Fine. So long as they don't knock out my only Mew in play, I'm chilling. No chance, no chance they boss. What they're gonna do is they're just gonna, they're gonna retreat back to wheezing. No, that's not gonna be great for me because I've got no abilities in play. So yeah, there's that. But they should have saved the switch because now they don't have an out. I mean, they should have just retreated, right? But I guess they were getting ready to crowbat for more cards, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm just going to sit here using Dyna Barrier every turn, right? And just say, like, all right, I'm going to be eating 40 damage a turn. That's kind of not great. Quick ball. Insane. Okay. So now we go here, get the other Mew. Capture, get a Jenny, cross fusion strike, Dyna Barrier. That's cool. The damage literally does not matter. So we're just going to keep using Dyna Barrier until we knock out the Weezing. The, the damage doesn't matter because they one hit KO me, right? So, like, who cares? Avery. That's fine. We will bop. You really came out for Mew this with this deck, didn't you, Greninja? Okay. Uh, it's gotta be. It's gotta be y'all too. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not like ideal, but that's what it had to be. Big term, that big term should have gone here. Then, you know, I would have really been wrestling, wrestling with this Galarian Weezing. If I didn't 2 hit KO, I would have been upset if I did not 2 hit KO that Galarian Weezing. The fusion energy. Oh, yeah, if I put the fusion energy on Genesect, I can draw. But, I mean, I kind of need to be attaching to my fellows. But yeah, last turn, I guess I could have attached to a Genesect. But then I could have, what, filled my hand once? It's kind. It's kind of it's kind of fine. I'm just going to 
knock out this guy. There we go, peony, okay. So now with the peony, let's peony for, how much HP you got left? 270, you're huge! Let's peony for switch to knock that poison stuff off. And Marnie, right? I can take one prize here. How many power tablets are left in my deck? Three. So I can still knock that thing out. That's fine. Okay, and then cross fusion strike Dino Barrier for the knockouts, and then nice. We find another energy off the prize. That's good. What's really good about this is that I've still got four Pokemon catchers in my deck. So all I have to do is double tablet Gust, knock out this Eternatus for three prizes, and then finish off a Crobat for game, which is definitely doable. Uh-oh. Just don't energy switch. Like, come on. That'd be ridiculous. There's no way you've got that. I would be down horrendous if they energy switch onto this Moltres. That would be so sad. I have to say, though, we're putting up... We're putting up a pretty good fight considering their entire deck is dark. Okay. Are you not impressed? I'm just saying. Their entire deck is dark. Fan of waves. Energy. Um, yeah, fusion strike system. There we go. Boss up. Um, no. Boss up Moltres? No. I need to get the double pa double tablet knockout on the, uh, so we're going to knock out, like I know I'm sacking this Mew, so we're just going to gust up you, and I'm going to save that for next turn. My stadium's... I can hold the stadium for next turn to give me as much draw as possible. And then we're going to cross fusion strike Techno Blast for knockouts. And then next turn, I just need to slap a Pokemon catcher, double power tablet, so free. Let's go. You're done, bud. Eternal Tis, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, bro. I'm coming for you. Only 270 hit points left, eh? Be a shame if something bad were to happen to you, Eternatus. Yes. We've got the gas right here. All queued up. Yeah, I mean, they can take the knockout with Moltres. They can take the knockout with Eternatus. Doesn't really matter. I just have to bring up a three-prizer and finish him off. They've got boss. I mean, that does not matter for me at all. And the dread end. Now we're going to see if we can piece together the win. I should have all my bosses are in the discard pile, but all four catchers are in the deck. So you're saying there's a chance. I'm going to just burn as many cards as I can, starting right now. So we have to capture energy. Go get another Jenny. Switch, Rose Tower, Tablet, Tablet, Rose, here, Marnie, okay, Fog Crystal, Put him down. Rotom phone. 
Sweet, sweet catcher. Fusion strike system. And that's game, baby. Let's go. Cross fusion strike. Techno blast. You're out of here. Mew V Max. Broken deck. Absolutely cracked, bro. Cracked, cracked deck. Woo! -wee. You love you love to see it. Alright, we're gonna attach capture energy to the Jenny. Put the Mew down. Let's Rotom Phone. And Elisa Sparkle is pretty good. No pass. And then next turn, I can actually Techno Blast this thing, which is awesome. And a 100% what I'm going to do. So, yeah. We're going turn two Techno Blast. The extremely rare Techno Blast attack with Genesect. So we've got the Elisa Sparkle. Accelerate. You know, accelerate onto Mew and the Genesect. Fusion Strike energy onto the Genesect. They're not going to see it coming. And the busted, the busted Rotom phone to help us get there. Okay. So, they have done this thing. Interesting. I now feel like I'm in a little bit of a different spot. We're going to Elisa Sparkle. Because I have like kind of a deadish hand, right? So I probably want to capture energy. Yeah. We're going to do that instead. This is way more responsible, right? Cool. And then Elisa Sparkle to these guys. I really don't want to just like burn these cards like ridiculously, but I mean I'm I'm dead drawing, so we need to draw some cards. Cool. And then I think we energy mix onto the Genesect. Cool. And now Genesect can take a knockout. Okay. Genesec can get in there. He's got the Techno Blast queued up, dude. He's got Darude Sandstorm on repeat, bro. Yeah, that was a little bit of a sus opening hand, but as we've seen with the Mew deck, that'll happen. Fortunately, I don't think that they have a knockout on my guy, right? They can do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. They can do 160 to my Mew. And because it has the Fusion Strike energy onto it, it cannot be the target of Quick Shooting, which is very good for us. So we're probably going to... Huh, it's tough. I love the catchers in this deck. I do. And I also love the Marnies. I mean, trashing resources left and right feels very bad. Especially since you're playing a deck that only has, like, very limited resources, right? You got, like, four power tablets. That's it. You've only got four fusion energy. There's no way that you're recovering those. We're, ho we're hoping that they don't have cape. That would make my life a lot easier if they don't have cape this turn. We're also just, yeah, they don't have it. We're also just the deck that makes the most use out of uh, Marnie because we can draw, right? So like the worst part about Marnie is not being able to draw out of it. I think we just knock out the Ice Rider if we can, frankly. Nah, it's fine. No, we don't, because dude, Genesec can bop this thing. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go there and Marnie.
Okay. Fan that just to be annoying. Oh, I guess I can take the guaranteed knockout with Technoblast, which is kind of cool. Even if I don't find my new VVAX, right? I'm going to fail that. Quick ball away, the switch. Get another Genesect. Not what I want to do, but it's fine. You just got to go. There's the movie Max. Great. Jenny. Draw me more cards, Jenny. Another mute. Don't want to evolve that one necessarily. There's no more basics in my deck, right? Oh, just this guy. It's cool. You're hired. All right. And then do that. And we're chilling. So we're going to retreat and take the knockout on this guy with the Techno Blast. And then if they bring up Ice Rider, we got Jenny queued up, ready to go. So they can't, right? They would have to like gust and knock that, knock out my Jenny this turn, but I've got Latias. So I can use the Diner Barrier in order to knock out my Mew. Oh, they got Cross Switcher. Bro, chill. Leave my Jenny alone. No. <laughs> Leave Jenny alone. I wanted to Techno Blast. You're taking that opportunity away from me. So sad. They're going to whiff the energy. Oh, well, they got the evolution. Okay. <laughs> they're going to whiff what they need off this research. They need a water. There's no way. They're going to be like, water. 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 No. No. But I can Marnie them, you know? I mean, that's the hope, right? We actually still win this. They should not have benched this. They just gave me a huge out. Yeah, you actually lo you lose this game, bro. I hope you understand that that move, that move cost you. You just lost. You do play two cross switcher, all four of them in the discard pile. You just lost that game. Okay, shouldn't have benched this thing. So we're going to bench this Mew, and then we're going to attach an energy to it, and then I am going to Fawn Crystal, Burn it. Quick ball away. The Elisa Sparkle. Down need it. And Marnie. And then all I have to do is gust gust. We're busting uh we're gusting up this thing because it is capable of evolving next turn. The Crobat is gonna be guaranteed stuck. They're not gonna be able to knock out my guy. And with no ability to knock out my fella. Uh, we're just going to turn through the deck and draw as many cards as we can. Um, UV Max, very good. Rotom Phone, stack literally like a gust or anything, really. Uh, we'll stack Old Cemetery in case they uh, play a path or something. And I'm just going to leave it there. And then we're going to Cross Fusion Strike, Techno Blast, take the knockout. And we should be Gucci. The switch off the prizes is insane. Genesect off the prizes is insane. And we've got boss on their Crobat. Got a little sus there in the middle, but we're going to be just fine. You know, I was a little worried about the Mew getting the fan quick shooting treatment. I was a little worried about that. But it did seem... It seemed worse to evolve it at the time, but... We are going to get Marnie. Marnie's a good card, dude. Marnie's a good card. They don't even have the attack this turn. And we've got Pokemon Catcher and Evolution Incense. So we could just finish him. Let's go. Evolution Incense. Double Catcher. Bro. It's happening right here. 
the bold cemetery. Bring them out. Bring them out. Okay, we're going to figure it out the old-fashioned way then with the boss's orders. <laughs> and we're going to Jenny. Now I just need a switch or an energy. And... Okay, a little bit tough. That's fine. We wrote him phone. If we find switch or energy off of this, we've got the switch. That'll do. Boss up the crowbat. Draw into the switch. And GG's. Yeah, don't give me any of that about no cross switcher. Nah, Pokemon catcher is life. Pokemon catcher is life. There we go, Techno Blast. Yo, GG's, Togekiss. GG's. That was a close one for sure. Real close, real close. And we got a pretty decent looking opening hand. We definitely want a energy if we can find one, but we'll see what we can do. I got Sylvia and I've got nothing. So I think that we try to see if we can't stack like an Elisa Sparkle or something. We'll drop this guy, I wrote him phone. Hello, friends. Uh, That's fine. Slow and steady wins the race. We'll we'll just stack uh You know what? The Mew. I'm gonna stack the Mew because finding the Mew V Max is like the most difficult part about playing this deck. So we'll just do that and pass. And then we'll see what Donkus has got for us. Just to research, you know they're going to discard a bunch of dark. None! Excellent. Two bosses orders, that's what we like to see. We want them to be slow on the uh, slow on the Moltres thing. They were able to get two Moltres powered up super fast last time. So they just got the Dream Gift. We're going to Marnie that noise to the bottom of the deck, most definitely. Got the Mu V Max, very good. Can Rotom Phone stack my deck? What kind of good stuff do I want? on top of the deck. Probably just a Fog Crystal would be good. And then we're going to Marnie. And we're hoping that they don't... Yeah, they're not going to be able to do anything crazy this next turn. No chance. Cool. Double Fog Crystal, get two Mews. And then we're going to do the whole energy uh, mix thing. Energy mix is great for us. Go there, go there. Draw cards. Draw cards. And nice, we got another quick ball. Uh, not really anything that I want to necessarily discard there, so I don't really think it matters. Just energy mix. And we probably want to grab basic psychic. I don't know if they play fans or anything. So we probably want to do that just to be safe. And we're hoping that Darth here does not have the Insano... Moltres or the Insano, you know, like Sylveon, bunch of different... No, 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 they're just going to be brick in here. Yep, Dream Gift, and then we're off to the races. Double Mew, and we're ready to go. The Marnie putting in work, though, just saying, right? Marnie is low-key, one of the... Not even low-key, just one of the best supporters in the game, so... It's very, very good. We don't need any of that, so... We'll do this. We've got the capture energy. Excellent. And now we just be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be -e aggressive, right? Yeah, something like that. So we're going to do that. And yeah, that's that's fine. I can put this Mew down. Is it necessary? No, but I like the taste. We'll do that. And smack him with the cross fusion strike, techno blast. And take our one prize, right? Dang, man. You hate to see it. Now, I do think that we just got the jump on them this game, so it's gonna be good for us. I mean, Mew can just win most of the most of the games where it does this. Where you set up first and you're attacking first. So that's that is swell. Nice catcher and Marnie. 
it feels so much more smooth being able to like Marnie Rotom phone has a lot of synergy. I really like that. You know, being able to stack your deck and then Marnie into it is very good. So we do love that. It looks like they're going Crobat, Tower Waters, and they got a full draw of six, but they are definitely on the ropes a little bit, trying to piece together an attack. I did kind of commit right now to not uh, using my Mew, which I don't love, but is cool. Because if they put a, a fairy thing on here, that could be bad. Right, like I could have returned this back to the deck. Maybe Gust, the Remoraid, returned the Mew back to the deck. So I probably shouldn't have evolved that one. Just to give me the option in case I wanted to do that. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I've really been not doing great on those. It's fine, though. Got a boss, though. But I don't have the energy right now. Could boss. Okay. So we'll do that. Nice. We got the capture energy. But I need a power tablet, too. To take out the Moltres. Alternatively, yeah, the Moltres definitely is a threat. So let's do this. And then let's Rotom Phone, look for Power Tablet. We found one. Okay. And then draw into, well, let's boss. Yeah, boss the Moltres. Draw into the Power Tablet. Thank you, Road is mine for the 12 months. Let's go, Road. Thank you. Thank you for the support. And hopefully you're digging the stream. Nice. We're going to retreat. And then Techno Blast this guy. Now I do have two more turns. I need to win the game. But the hope is that with me needing two more turns to win the game, because I could go Gust Crobat, Gust Remoraid game, But, you know, we'll see. The Urshifu is definitely a little scary, but I can also just knock out an Urshifu V very easily. We got Pokemon Catcher. I can kind of just retreat between these two Mews and make it happen. This is going to be like a I need to gust every turn kind of game because... Yeah, it's just not happening otherwise. So let's see. Fusion Energy in play. Not a lot, actually. Let's see if we hit the Urshifu. We do. That's good. All right. Bring that guy up. And then uh, at the old cemetery. And then I can pretty much Peony. Yeah, for the game-winning boss's orders, right? Boss's orders. And a switch should be all that I need. And we'll draw some cards. Nice. We've got all the gas. We retreated into this guy. And we cross fusion strike. And we max miracle for knockout. And then we go gust the the little boy, Remoraid, or Crobat, or whoever. So long as I have Gust for game. We do have three Genesex out, so they kind of have to Marnie this turn um, in order to make it so that I don't have guaranteed win. I've got 21 cards left in deck, so... Could also... I should have two Pokemon catchers left, so that is a decent amount. And I should have one boss in the deck still that I could find. Yes. We want to reorder the deck if we can, because we just put catcher and a boss to the bottom of the deck. So this could get a little bit sus if I am not finding that gust card. 
we do have a decent amount of cards to draw into it. So let's see what we can find. Here comes the Mew. Capture Energy will reorganize the deck, so that is good. And we could get Genesect. Two catchers, two boss. Um, I think that that's fine. Genesect seems good. But then our hand could get clogged, right? Before Genesect, we're feeling it. Okay, it seems correct to get the Genesect. Draw one, nothing. All right, draw three. This is just going to be all jammed cards, isn't it? Holy moly. Okay. We go here. I draw two. I draw one. Okay. I quick ball. Away. The fusion strike energy. Fail. Got two catcher, two boss in the deck. And no phones. Got two of these guys left. So we'll fusion strike system. Okay. Quick ball away. Mew, fail, quick ball away, old cemetery, fail, I've got two catchers, two boss, in the deck, come on, catcher, Fan. And Marnie. Oh, boy. Well. Hope they don't have it. Yikes. No, they got two boss in the discard pile. No way. Oh, that's the fastest evolution incense I've ever seen. They definitely got it. Yeah, they go get the energy. Third boss. We marnied them right into it. Oh, I'm so bodied. Oh, no, they got research hard. We're chilling. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we're chilling, we're chilling. Saved, all right. Looking like a game three. Okay, thank goodness. Whew, that was sus. Yeah, going into game three, okay. GG's, that one was really close. That one was real close. They had two boss in the discard pile. Come on, I gotta catch a break somewhere, right? And that's it for my build of Mew VMAX. Let me know what you think of my Marnie Mew VMAX deck in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content just like this every single weekday. Y'all have a great day. Peace.